Offering much more than simply a showcase of tasty cuisine, Italian chef Gustano Simonato whips up a perfect marriage of food and wine at the HKTDC Hong Kong International Wine and Spirits Fair. The fair's 2011 partner country, Italy, has set up a special tasting area focused on wine education. And Italy boasts a greatly expanded pavilion with more than 200 exhibitors, including a growing number of smaller producers just starting to explore Asia's markets. What happened in the, in the last few years that uh, the Italian food grow in the panorama of the world, so a lot of international high-level restaurants moved from the French style to the Italian style. And this helped also the Italian wine to grow and to be well known. For Hong Kong, it's uh, one of the most, of world, the most important town for business, for, uh, for, from an economical point of view, obviously. Through Hong Kong, there's millions of people that goes around. It's an opportunity from this point of view in terms of volume. The range of tastes is expanding at what is now Asia's largest wine show in terms of exhibitor numbers. This year, there are 934 exhibitors, a 37% increase from 2010. Among the countries and regions represented are newcomers Georgia, Israel, Latvia, Malta, the Slovak Republic and Sweden. France is also here in force. As Woody Allen once said, 80% of success is just being there. You have to be here. You're not going to get anything done in China if you don't come to China. And uh, Hong Kong is the entry port now due to the tax structure. I've seen over the years the new amount of visitors increasing, but more important, the quality and the knowledge, the education of the visitors is increasing. Asia is even moving beyond the role of consumer as new labels emerge, including some from the Chinese mainland. Because the Chinese palate uh, like balance, harmony, and uh, drinkability and it's the, the European pattern which is the best solution for Chinese but with some Chinese elements coming from the light, the soil, the people and also the needs of the cooking. It's very important to, to work with the, the best Chinese cooks. We did it in 400 years. The California <laughs> producer did it in 50 years and you will do it in 20 years, <laughs> maybe 15. <laughs> The fair has introduced a new wine investment zone where visitors can find the world's only online wine trading business. LiveX is a fine wine exchange. We're like a stock exchange for wine. We're used by most of the merchants around the world. They come to us to find out what the latest price is and also to find trading opportunities. Hong Kong and China has been a very exciting market for the last three or four years as Europe and the US have been having a difficult time economically the strength in Hong Kong and China has really supported our market and the growth in this region has been extremely strong. The Hong Kong International Wine and Spirits Fair is also expanding in scope. Among the many interesting products on display, this bottle of 1940 cognac worth more than 14,000 US dollars. It was imported by a Hong Kong company responding to Asia's growing passion for rare vintages other than the fruit of the vine. Because in China, People drink brown spirits first and foremost. Cognac, single malt whiskey, scotch whiskey. So the market for this is just growing like crazy because as you all know, the China market, the consumer market, is gonna be the greatest in the history of mankind coming up. Whether it's gonna be 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, but surely it will be the largest in the world. People actually drink cognac with food in China. So I see this growing uh, alongside very much so. Spirits are also enjoying a renewed emphasis at Asia's premier wine competition. The Cathay Pacific Hong Kong International Wine and Spirits Competition for the first time was open to spirits. The contest attracted more than 1,700 entries, an increase of more than 30% from last year as the industry toasts those working hard to satisfy the increasingly sophisticated Asian palate.